This is Tom Reardon, math teacher from Ohio. Why TI Inspire CX? Our activity is to insert pictures and then use mathematics to model the shapes. This is the second one in, in, that we've been doing. TI Inspire CX, the handheld and software are now in color. Why TI Inspire CX? It is a learning tool and a teaching tool. It is no longer just a graphing calculator with a touchpad and in beautiful color. A picture is worth a thousand words. I say it is worth several equations. With TI Inspire CX, students can investigate how to model mathematically shapes that occur in the real world for themselves. Watch. We will be using TI Inspire Smart View emulator software, but whatever we do can be done right on a student's handheld. This is the title page. This is the page that gives us the directions on what to do. And here's a picture of the Golden Gate Bridge. And what we'd like to do is mathematically model the equation of that arch right there. The directions are to grab on the handheld, point, place it. And we're going to do about maybe six more points. Place the point there to log it in. If you press Control and then decimal point, that'll put the order, that ordered pair into a table or a list. Get a few more points right there. Control and decimal point. Grab another, say right there. Uh, it might be a little bit too low, so I'm going to grab that one a little bit better. And that's what nice a student, you know, can make mistakes here. Control, decimal point. And I think that'll be enough. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. On the next page, we have lists or spreadsheet that has that data in there. And on the following page, it says we're gonna, we should probably do a quadratic regression, and I would agree with that. So that would be a menu, statistics, and stat calculations. Quadratic regression is number six. Now our X list, our data is, I, I put that in X coordinate, and I would need to know that. The Y list is in Y coordinate. It's going to save the regression equation to F1, so I'm, I'm okay with that. And there's my information. <coughs> um, so there's my A, B, C. My R score is about 0.9867, which sounds pretty good on the surface. We'll see how that goes. So we'll go back to the picture, and we'll graph it. It's in F1, and there's F1. I'll press Enter, and there's that equation. Uh, I think I will change the, the color of that because I can. And that's a nice color. And maybe even the thickness, the attributes. And so there's my equation that color codes and matches that. And just to recap here, uh, here's the data that was captured, and every student would capture different data. Uh, and this is the equation that we came up with our regression. Uh, now, of course, we would have to use a limited domain here and here, but uh, you get the idea.